capo, 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 capo. Hello everyone. XXI's Robotic Narrator Slave here. For this tutorial, we are going to recreate that Among Us introduction shown earlier. First, add a rectangular shape like this and resize it to fit the whole slide. Then, give it no fill and a white outline. This will act as a guide later on. Now go to Google Images, type in Among Us background and look for this image. Copy the image and paste it to the slide. As you can see, it's a vertical image. Rotate it 90 degrees to the left or right then resize and reposition it in a way that it fits the right corner of the slide. Then, copy this image three more times and paste it end to end. It should look something like this and once you've got it, group the images then send the group to back, revealing our white outline guide. Now to add in its animation. Go to motion paths and give it a motion path going to the right. Drag this portion here and position it so the end part is as close to the slide's left corner as possible. Then, click on start with previous. Go to timing and set the duration to 30 seconds. On the effect tab, Set the smooth start and smooth end to zero. It should look something like this. It's now time to add in our character. You can add in the classic Among Us characters for this animation, or you can make it more personal by having your own picture float in space. For this one, I used this awesome image of presidential secretary Harry Rock in his iconic T-pose. However, it has this background here which we want removed. Let me show you a neat trick on how to do this. Go to this amazing website called remove.bg and simply upload your image. Then, let the site do all the work. Voila! Now we have our image with no background. Copy the image and paste it to our slide. Let's crop out the excess space then reposition and resize. I also added a roll of tissue paper and placed it on his head as an accessory. After doing so, click on the tissue paper and your character and simply group these images. For its animation, go to motion path and select the one moving to the right. Then, drag this portion here and position it to the right in a way that your character is completely out of the screen. Then, click on start with previous. Then, go to timing and add a 3 second delay. Then set the duration to 5 seconds. On the effect tab, make sure the smooth start and end is 0. Now go to emphasis and give it a spin effect. Click on start with previous and on the timing settings, give it a 3 second delay, a 2 second duration and then make it repeat until end of slide. Also make sure to set smooth start and end to 0. It should look something like this. Now let's add the texts. Add in text box and type your name followed by was not the imposter. Resize and reposition it to the center of the slide. For its animation, go to entrance effects and select wipe. Set it to start with previous. Then, go to effect options and change the direction so that it wipes from the left. Then, go to timing. Give it a 4.5 second delay as well as a 2.5 second duration. Getting the speed and duration right takes trial and error. Make sure the text fades exactly when your characters fly over it. For the last bit, copy this text box and type in one imposter remains. Then, remove its animation and replace it with a zoom entrance. Select start with previous then for its timing. Input an 8.5 second delay as well as a 0.5 second duration. Finally, remove the white outline guide and you're all set. To turn this presentation into a video, 
Simply go to save as and save this video as an MPEG-4 video. When it's done saving, you now have your animation video which you can later on edit on your video editing software to add in some sound effects. And once that's all done, you get to have a finished video like this. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Make sure to like, share comment and subscribe. Or you're next.